Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, my friends, to a new series. This is Let's Play Border Skate Nast Edition. This is, uh, I'm very excited about this. I recently decided to not only play Border Skate, uh, but the sequel as well. So, this is going to be a very long term project. Um, very interested I um, posted the video okay uh, with some information about uh, this series okay what I'm going for and other stuff and uh, to keep it very briefly Boris Gate is a is a staple in um, among among RPGs computer RPGs it's based on uh, Second edition rule set of a uh, advanced Dungeons and Dragons or at least first one in '98. I got to play it a few months later in '99, and um, it's one of the most loved games um, together with Planescape Torment. And uh, yeah, I'm going to play both Baldur's Gate Nast Edition and Baldur's Gate 2 Nast Edition. I already created my character and so I think we should just jump in, right? So let's go. We go with single player. It's going to be a new game. I'm going to import my character. My character is Vaclav the fighter. This one with the with this portrait. That's mostly because my first character ever in Baldur's Gate was, was actually a cleric. It was called Bakla, and this was the portrait I chose. Um, very odd abilities, okay. Only 15 in strength and 16 in wisdom. That's because I have plans for this young man. Also, well, the weapon proficiencies should give something away, but I won't dwell on it. Uh, very much. I want, don't want to spoil the surprise. Um, try to keep um, spoilers at a minimum. I've already played and finished this game a few times, and actually, I mm, I finished it. Uh, I, f I finished the last edition not too many years ago, four or five years ago. So uh, my memory is not fresh, but. From time to time, I have a, you know, oh snap, I know what, what's what's coming up. Uh, I try to avoid any spoilers um, about uh, the story and other stuff, but I might spill some beans about um, items or things like that. It's nothing to, that shouldn't ruin or spoil the surprise. Yeah, let's keep going. Appearance? Yeah. Okay, I'll keep it black. And as a voice... Onward. I feel this is my rightful place. I I'm quite fond of the default soon. one, to be honest. I should be more productive with my time. Yeah, it's perfect. The name, I keep Bakla as a name. It was named after um, a character of my D&D character of mine. It was a cleric, and the, the game was set. The campaign was set in Mistara, and he was from Karamekos, the Grand Duke of Karamekos, and uh, was of Traldar, Traldarian origin. So he had an Eastern European name. All makes sense, right? Okay, let's check briefly the bio biography so that you get a glimpse of what's to come. So, this is the default one, and it's perfectly fine. Drawn to the claymore of the forge at an early age, I have become quite skilled working for the monks of the keep. I have kept them supplied with whatever tools are occasionally required. Inspired by your foster father's tales of ironclad heroes, however, you know you would much rather swing a blade that has made this hammer. Well, actually not a blade, more like a war hammer. One of the watchers has been kind enough to take you under her wing has trained you in the basics of the deadly arts. You yearn to leave the safe walls of 
your library home and venture forth along the tradeway, trusty weapon at your side. You know little of how you came to be a ward of Gorion's, and over the years you have gleaned something of your mother's tale and his vague allusions and from the words he sometimes uttered in tear-filled sleep. She was a human from Silvery Moon and a friend of his for many seasons. As you have no memory of her, nor any keepsakes to remind you of her existence, you have come to believe that she died while giving birth to you. Perhaps it was the pain of such a parting that led Corion to cross her himself within the narrow holes of Candlekeep and raise you as his home. Of your father, you have learned nothing yet. Okay. Um, by the way, in Nancy Edition, currently you can create your entire party up to six characters. And uh, that's something I considered, but I was advised against it or better. I just asked around what people might think about it and um, let's go for a classic playthrough. Let's get started. Okay, difficulty. Okay, well, um, I've played before. I'm not a pro though and I'm not going for shenanigans, cheesy strategies or uh, power gaming in general, so it's either normal or Chorus. I think by uh, last time I played Chorus should be... I think it's the normal difficulty in the, pre in, in the original version should be good. Um, normal enemies deal less damage, do not use them more powerful... No, it's okay. It's okay. We're not going past that. No hard, insane, or... It's a fail. Um, so let, let's venture forth. Nestled atop the cliffs that rise from the Sword Coast, the Citadel of Candlekeep houses the finest and most comprehensive collection of writings on the face of Farron. It is an imposing fortress, kept in strict isolation from the intrigues that occasionally plague the rest of the Forgotten Realms. It is secluded, highly regimented, and it is home. Within these hallowed halls of knowledge, your story begins. You have spent most of your twenty years of life within this keep's austere walls, under the tutelage of the sage Gorion. Acting as your father, he has raised you on a thousand tales of heroes and monsters, lovers and infidels, battles and tragedies. However, one story was always left untold, that of your true heritage. You have been told that you are an orphan, but your past is largely unknown. Lately, Gorion has been growing distant from you, as if some grave matter weighs heavily on his heart. You have asked about his concerns as gently as possible, but your queries have been in vain. Your sole comfort is the knowledge that he is a wise man, and you know he will tell you when the time is right. Nonetheless, his silence is troubling, and you cannot help but feel that something is terribly wrong. Today, Gorion has appeared more agitated than ever, and now he has uncharacteristically interrupted your chores in the middle of the day. Imparting hurried instructions for you to equip yourself for travel, he has handed you what gold he can spare, but given no clue as to why. Nevertheless, you now stand before the Candlekeep Inn, ready to purchase what you need for an unplanned and unexpected journey. And here we are. So, um, this is, this is me. Yes, I stand ready. Okay. Um, this is a paper doll. We just have a, just have a quarter stuff. We have 140 golds with us, which is not bad. And uh, this is our uh, Carter shield, basically. And uh, all right. So uh, it will be done. This is the prompt of the. So we should uh, get ourselves here for a long journey. However, there are there's stuff to do here in Candlekeep. Okay, 
there are small quests to finish, coins to be earned, and experience to be gained, mostly. So these um, tutor. Hello, child. So there are Shall these. The um, the area is uh, full of these tutors in green that basically give you tutorial information. Okay, how to play and stuff like that. Okay, so let's start going inside. Dane. There's another tutor here. Not a problem. Hello, child. Okay, buying Shall some things, blah, blah, blah. Okay. No. So let's talk to Winthor. Winthrop, sorry. My hotel's as clean as well, hello there, earth. young one. Come to visit your old pal Winthrop, have you? Well, don't forget the 10,000 gold piece book entrance fee. Where can keeps custom? Don't you know? Okay. So this is obviously a scam or a joke. Um, so I'm going to... You always were the big kidder, Winthrop. It gets funnier very nearly every time. I hear it. Well, perhaps not quite so often. Ha! Ah, just having a bit of fun with you, my friend. The monks may be walking about with pools in their nethers. <laughs> you know you're always welcome here in my sight. Brian did well by you. Uh, he did. So if there's anything I can do for you? Some drinks, a room to sleep, or anything to buy? Okay, what do we have? So, you can rest. There are different kind of... We don't need to rest, to be honest now. Uh, the better the accommodation, the more HP you recover by sleeping, okay? You can always drink, uh, get, buy some drinks to hear some rumors. Um, and we can buy some stuff. Okay, so uh, right now... Let's see. How much for a for a Warhammer? Three. Well, I buy one. Uh, could get a shield. Oh, let's see, large shield plus one plus one extra. My cell weapons. And this is this is fine. Medium shield is fine. And. Uh, Well, helmet protects against critical hits, so it's uh, a must-have. Let's see, uh, a cheap. Uh, cannot. Ah, oh, yeah, I can barely afford a splint mail. Splint mail is armor class four, which gets better against piercing and missile weapons, and even better against crushing. Okay. Now I'm going to equip when I boat. Now, at this point, I could very well leave this place. All right, we have a nice AC of zero, a uh, nice thaco of 19. Okay, so we're doing pretty solid. Yes, and but Please. as I said, there's things we can do. There's another Hello, tutor. Child. Okay, but Shall right now. That's the far beat Elven here. So hard to find. Ah yes, oh, back no, within no. the hollowed halls of Candlekeep. With his iron creases upon us, the trip from Baragos was more hazardous than I care to relate. You're Gorion's ward, aren't you? My, you have become into your own. You will permit an old man jealous of youth to say so. Hmm. I left an identified scroll with Ethoril. Uh, in the inner grounds. You should be done examining it by now, so if you could fetch it for me, I'd be grateful. Okay, that's a quest that we got. Okay, not mage who makes an occasional visit here from Baragost, blah blah. Okay, before we leave though, I... My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Oh, uh, I remember I should buy some uh, quarrels 
I can afford them. Some bolts. Okay. If I remember correctly, someone is going to ask me to get them. Oh, there's a noble woman and a nobleman. No noble time to chit chat. Let's step up to the heat, young one. You'll need a good fire to warm the chill stairs of those monks. Most inhospitable they are. Isn't that so lovely? Oh yes, darling, they are most standoffish. Um <laughs> This is fine. Bring a lot of expensive jewelry with you. Oh, uh, they like they lead a somehow somewhat closer life here, so they are accustomed to many visitors. They're perhaps a bit colorful compared to what they used to. That seems polite. Colorful. Here, perhaps we should dress a little more plainly to fit in. It's worth a try, my dear. Although our clothes may only be half of it, they certainly couldn't react any worse than they have. Thank you for the suggestion, Vaclav. For putting it tactfully. Good eve to you. Okay. And also, uh, another the floor. Thieves. There's people sleeping, and uh, yeah, you could you could steal, but actually not. Um, not really any reason to do so. I can also highlight any object that you can interact with. Okay, you are a nobleman. Away with you, beggar! What? Certainly hope there is an explanation for this intrusion. Explain yourself. Oh um uh, my apologies. I must have got the room numbers mixed out. Oh, I'm dreadfully sorry. Um, yes, what? Well, just don't let it happen again. Uh, depending on your charisma and other things, the response might be different. Don't touch me. Yes, might I help you? Something. Um, sorry to disturb you. Wrong room, I fear. Perfectly understandable. Good evening to you. Not a problem. Not All right, problem. let's start the tour of Candlekeep. Let's start talking with Lydia. Hello there. Oh, hello. Hey, have you seen my copy of the History of the Rua anywhere? You know how I can't stand the constant shuffling of arthritic feet up in the library. I thought I'd get a bit of fresh air just his of ear and... Oh, I hate being so upset-minded. Please, if you can find it, I really do need it back. Some cows. I'm skipping all the, the tutorial people here. Priest's quarters. Okay, we could have a look inside. Also, I think I quit much actually. Let's do a proper save. I cannot save at this time. My, my. That's interesting. Hello. Oh, goody, goody. Don't even find you first. You had the word of Gorion, no doubt. Um, I do not recognize you. Who are you and what are you doing here? Who I am is unimportant, but who you are is very much so. I apologize for this dirty bit of business, but I must seek you your death. A pity, I know. I assume your head is worth an exceptional amount to me. Kill you myself, and I need not share credit with anyone. Our first combat, so uh, someone is trying to assassinate us, right? Okay, uh, there's an auto pose in the combat. If you don't know, it's uh, it's in real time, but you can pose and issue orders at any time. So as you can see by the icon, I'm going to uh, use my warhammer. Uh, against the head of this elf, alpha, judging by the size. Okay. Wow. One shot, one kill. 
Okay. Now, can I save? Yeah, I can save. All right. So I'm going to. This is a uh, let's play. Baba's Gate EE -E. Episode One. Okay. Not a problem. So we got a dagger, which I'm not going to use. And since I'm here, let's have a look around. There are some boxes that we can check. Empty. Ooh, another Warhammer. Ah, well, it was cheap anyway. Also, it's a good thing to have extra weapons because the backstory here is that there's an iron shortage. And the quality of the iron itself that it's been refined in the nearby mines is very bad. So weapons are brittle and can break. And if you're unlucky, they break a lot. So having some spare weapons at ready is the way to go. Some coins, okay. And oh locked. Uh, you can if you are a rogue a thief, you can uh, pick the locks. If you're not, you can try to force the. Uh, but you uh, you need to be exceptionally strong. Okay, but uh, it's not a problem. We will find rogues soon enough. Hmm? Backlab, you cut yourself about the bro there. What is wrong, child? Something in your eyes tells me that something is very wrong indeed. Uh, okay, now, should I tell him or should I not? Oh, Parda, there was a man there. He smelled like the stables and he, he tried to kill me. It was horrible. Or, it's it's nothing, Parda. One of the cats didn't like me petting it. I'm alright, really. Okay, uh, since my uh, dislike for, for cats, I, see, I think number two is more appropriate. Uh, yes, well, get what you need from the inn then, for Gorion's desperate for you to be off. Yes, I know, but... With ease. Um, there's stuff to do and experience to get. Okay. What do you need? Dra drop in. Lydia left one of her books in here again. It's in the hay there, beside the cow. You can run it over to her and then come back. I've got some plans for you. Okay, where is it? Is it the Tales of Al Rua? Yeah. Okay. So let's. There's going to be a little bit back and forth. Uh, since Lydia is right here. Hello there. My book. Oh, you reminded me of Gorion when you green like that. Isn't you had, had been so hard on him? You know. I know. But he says it's a toil of love, toil of destiny, even. Must be a very special child indeed. Draw, draw such praise from a man of his silent nature. Here, take this little gem of mine. Maybe Winthrop will give you a little something for it. We got 50 experience points and a link side gem. Good. Also, another thing you can bring up the map, click where you want to go, and this is something that uh, in some more modern games has been missing. What do you need? Nice day, ain't it? Too bad Nessa here ain't enjoying it, though. Her being sick and all. I need to gather one of them potions of antidote of all. He stayed up drinking last night. I got hold out a bed to man the gates early this morning. I bet he's got a few of them lying around somewhere. Okay, so we need... Dripping's cow. <laughs> All right. So with watchers that were mentioned in my 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 bio biography bio are the guards oh, here. The army. I was in one of the great parts of Gip last night. I saw the strangest sight. The horizon was aglow for a time, as though many a man carried torches in the distance. Usually there are only merchants on that path, though never at night. Hundreds, perhaps, but so many. Interesting. Temple of Ogma. So this is a temple. 
This is a priest. We can talk to the priest. These walls Pleased to see that you have taken time to pay tribute to wise Okma. I was wondering, what do you have to offer? Okay, you can donate to uh, restore reputation, uh, get some spells, okay, or buy things, potion of healings, okay, and of course you can identify things. You are a watcher. John Dalar. Hey there, Baklav. I see you're up early this day. Well, your father, Gryon, has, me to, uh, has asked me a strange favor. It's like he wants you to learn some fighting, asked me to be the teacher. So I hope you brought your stuff with you. Ah, uh, better than my stuff. Hostile creatures have red circles around their feet. A thickening. Okay, this is essentially the uh, fighting tutorial. During our fight, I'm going to spring a little surprise on you. Remember, you can press the space bar to pose on blah blah blah. Are you ready now? Good! Okay, that's the surprise. You did good, kid, especially after Eric started firing those arrows at ya. I'm sure your father will be proud. You should go talk to the gate warden if you want some experience in fighting with a group of people. You can find him just south of here. However, it can be pretty important to know how to fight with allies at your side. Okay. Evil. I thought I asked you to clean the rats out of this building yesterday already. Hope to it. Get in there. Okay, so we, we've got an uh, There's nothing here. This is a storehouse. Rats, you said. Yeah. One, two, three, four rats. And obviously, some cats that are not doing their job. What do you expect, right? Okay. Whoa, a critical hit. 18 damage. <laughs> okay. Is that all? Uh, let's see if there's anything we can... Uh... Oh, a ring? I'll take it. An empty box. Oh, good, we're done. So, dwarf, what do you say? Ah, yes, kill them like the rats they are. Glorious battle un unlike any this world has ever seen. Here's five gold pieces. Just put it all in one place. Wow! I've got this. Mental note, don't join the armed forces. <laughs> okay. Tutor. Let me check if there's... Oh, this is whole. Uh, someone mentioned he selling antidotes. Mm. Hey kid, I woke late this morning and left my sword in the barracks before going on duty. You want to get it for me? It's in the chest at the foot of my bed on the right side of the barracks. Quick now before they go water and catches me without it. We'll also find an antidote there. I think Drappy needs one for old Nessa. Yeah, exactly. Our rules are very strict. The gate war soon be gone, will ya? Hey, Gorion asked me to teach you. A wit about the finer art of mass combat before you leave. Can I pick your interest with it, Baklav? Uh, yes, Gate Warden, I would appreciate that. Good then, child, is one thing to maintain control of yourself in the heat of battle, but this is quite another to maintain one's authority over a group. I've asked Obed the Illusionist to run through a few simulations for you down in the storage cellars. Just follow me this way and unlock the door for you. Right, this way. Okay. Uh, can I can I save before a quick save? No. What did it do? Is it quick Q? Yeah, it, it's Q, but I can save it this time. Okay. Our rule. There you be, Vaclav. If you haven't traded with Orb yet, then the doors wide open. All you need is to march in. You already done your trading. Then you should go and see Ryan. 
Father is anxious to see you. Okay, let's go down. Obe. Vaclav, the gate warden, asked, <laughs> asked me to prepare a little going away party for you. A bit of mass combat practice is in order, I believe. Well, I'll make it real simple for you. Kandarus, Mordain, Arcanis, Dadar, and Osprey are all going to join your party. You have to complete control over them, same as you will with anyone else who might join you in your coming travels. Once they've all joined your party, I'm going to summon in several illusions. Common monsters you might encounter outside the safety of the skip. These illusions will attack the party and it will be up to you to issue the necessary orders to dispose of them. Remember, these creatures are illusions and they won't be able to hurt you. Try your best to kill them, however, because in the real world, pain, harm, and even death are far more real. Some of your comrades will have magic items such as potions and wands. You will have to equip these in the quick slots, blah, 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 blah. Every so often, I will ask you if you have enough. If you have, then I shall teleport you back outside. If you wish to continue practicing, however, I create more illusions, blah, blah, blah. And there we are. So we get with some gibberlings. I stand ready. Okay, so. Uh oh, so Arcanis is a he's a level two fighter. Uh, they're all level two actually. Osprey is a Cleric Mage, an interesting combination. Mordane is an Invoker Mage, and uh, Dabber is a Fighter Thief. And this is Kandarus, who is a Cleric. Okay, so yes. I'm going to hit things, not with my with my. Okay, that Mordane, uh, Arcanis, yes. yes. Yes, friend? Uh, you maybe not, because you're not carrying any armor, I suppose. But you could cast some spells. Okay. Hello. Uh, hey. Okay. Okay. I stand ready. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, also, this game, there are, you can set. Uh, some uh, behaviors for your party members so that they act on their own accords following the yes. strategies you put for them. Have you had enough? Ready to call a teleport you back outside. Otherwise, you better be ready for some more fighting. Um, no, I think I've had enough. I don't think you're getting any experience out of them. Okay. I stand. It will be done. Right. Can I quick save now? You are watcher. Oh, fifty coins just like that. Uh, this is a bunkhouse. Let's check it. I have a blade with your name on it. A blade with my name on. Here, there, you go on little well, aren't cha? Well, you match the description. You don't look so dangerous to me. Um, and what business is that of yours? I'll make it my business if not, please. Just. Thought, um, just thought I'd have me a look at you for myself before I put a blade down your gullet. No one seems to think you're trouble, so I'm gonna use your head for a ticket out to the gutter. Out of the gutter. Just a little street trash hood, they say, but I'll show them. Okay, another assassination attempt. Okay, you're not even wearing any armor. Missed. I missed. I hit and I killed. Another dagger, okay, be useful. There's some here. Oh, that's only, only yeah, in here. All right. And not a problem. Someone's going to approach me and ask me what happened. No. 
something on your yeah. mind? I heard shouting, Baklav. Are you alright? Um, it's better you don't ask questions, Karen. You have instructed and inspired me throughout my childhood, and your heart will break to see what has just transpired here. Oh, child, you are too young for the life that has been thrust upon you. You be fully equipped for your journey. I pray you run now to Gorion in the library steps, for he is anxious to depart. That's why I still have stuff to do. Oh, more gold coins. Oh, these are the barracks. Yeah, they are. Okay, so on the right, this should be... Yeah. That's old sword and the antidote. This is a watcher. I'm not going to touch any of those chests. This is fuller. Ah, uh, what a mad field night. What hole is mead? No, it's mead, sorry. Mead field night. That hole is just too much. Poor sap at Goldman Gate this morning, too. You know how it does it. What can I do for you, anyways? Yeah, the the mead would explain why Paul forgot to put his sword on the morning. Send me to fetch it for him. Uh, nothing really, I was just nosing about. Yeah, I don't want to put Hull in troubles. Yeah, well, don't think this headache means I'm not keeping my eye on you. Not a problem. Okay, let's go. And give. Uh, where was it? There he is. Mm. Took your sweet time, didn't you? Orion's a fool for trying to bring you upright, and you can tell him I said so too. I didn't know any better. I'd said this whole iron crisis is the result of perps like you wander off with people's swords. He's tangled pieces. Now get out of here. I'm on duty. Yeah, that was unnecessary. So let me check. Not a problem. Yeah, anything. I should have joined the army. Ah, yeah. I was just wondering if you had any errands I could run. Errand? Yeah, actually, I need a quarrel of crossbow bolts. Get some off of Winthrop at the wind. I reimburse you. Oh, very well. There'll be a, there'll be a few coins in it for you too. So I can stop giving me that look. Yeah, I remember about I that. Here you are, you little money grabber. Put a few cold pieces in your purse. Wow, that's. Why are they so mean? It will be done. Okay, so um, let's. Uh, I need to go to trap him. Give him the antidote, and also I need to get that identify scroll, which is around here. Hey, yeah, uh, it's me, Emmaen. Oh. Let's meet Emoen. I'm surprised that stuffy old Gorion let you away from your studies and chores. Oh, Phil Fell, knock off too. Old Popcats Winthrop was looking for me. I got all day to do his chores. You have time for a story today? No, I can tell you don't. What have you been up to? Um. Okay, I'm afraid I cannot chat today, little one. My foster father wishes me to prepare for a journey, but will not say to where. Little one, not much younger than you, though you sure got told fast. Rather leave it anyway. Journey, huh? Now I get to travel. Wish I could go with ya. Yep, I really wish I could. Yes, sir, really do. All right, all right. Get the message. I'll ask if you can come, if you can go with us. Oh, don't be silly. Gorai will never even let you finish the sentence. 
Especially after what that letter of his said. Uh, uh, did that say that? No, of course I didn't. Ever so no letter. Nope. Let's get back to work now. I'd better go. Or I was waiting. Hmm. I'm keeping my eyes on you. That's Gorion, but we're not going to bother him right now. Greetings, young one. Another assassination attempt? Tath Doril. Farbid has sent you to me, hasn't he? Very well, return this scroll to him. But I must hurry and speak with Gorion. He's waiting for you on the step of the central library. I assure you, child, it is a matter of greatest urgency. Yeah, I saw Gorion myself. Still have stuff to do. The Lord of Murder shall perish. In the year of the turret, but in his doom he shall spawn. Okay, I really dislike this cacophony of sounds. Okay, so thanks to the shortcut, we are here at the inn. Not a problem. So we can give. Barbie Dalvin her is scrolling. To I'm glad to see that nowadays. age has not hardened your heart towards an old man such as myself. Take all of your all of your identified scrolls. I have a great use of, for, of for those types of scrolls. Here, allow me to cast a little spell on you. It will protect you from an evil you might meet tonight. Yeah, is it was a protection from evil. Let's see. Protection from evil, yeah, it's going to expire pretty soon, so. Okay, uh, since I'm here, I'm going to buy a few more things from you, Winthrop. I'm going to buy a sling and a lot of bullet. Like nine bullets. And uh, I could sell you something, but no, not yet. Uh, any any other things I could use? No, it's okay. Okay, so it's trapping, it and then we are done. We finished here in Candlekeep. Especially at the beginning, I have to say that every little bit of experience counts toward reaching the next level, so... What do you need? Hey, you're a wonder you are! Stick with me and we go far! Well, okay. Stick with me and we'd probably never leave the walls of Candlekeep, will we? They say the bandits out there aren't after gold and gems anymore, but just plain old iron. One of them whatchamacallits, paradoxes or whatever. It's dangerous, so you want to wear some good solid plate and carry an axe that make Tempus jealous. But rather than protecting her, it just makes everyone want a piece of you, right? Given my druthers, I guess I'd rather stay right here. Okay. That's it. Alright. Just uh, let me check on my uh, journal, which is... Yeah. Okay, uh, they're all finished. Okay, so we can leave. Okay, perfect. 100%. Not going for a 100% playthrough, by the way. Uh, my goal for the first game, for Bolo's Gate, is to reach the end, having reached the level cap, and possibly, after getting many good items, Okay, so let's quick save. Let's talk to Gorion. Oh, my child, I am glad I have found you. This is unnerving, I know, but you must trust me. It is very important that you pack your possessions so that we may leave Kalkip immediately. Hurry, for there is no time to tarry. The keep is well protected, but not invulnerable. Um. 
What should I bring with me on this journey? If you would just give me some clue as to what I will need. Dear child, you should know yourself well enough to purchase the gear you need. Giving you what I can spare, so hurry off to the inn and speak with Winthrop. Use your skills as a reference and buy what basics you must. So spend wisely. These prices are fair, but you may not have enough gold to purchase all that you would want. No mention. Uh, what could possibly arm us here? This place is a fortress and guarded beyond measure. Well, um, two assassination attempts failed. Calakeep is indeed a formidable obstacle for near the wells, but it's not unsurmountable. No matter how thick the mesh, at least one mosquito always finds its way through. No, my child, you must leave as soon as possible for our safety or that of our friends here. Okay. Uh, please tell me where we'll be going. Alas, I cannot, for I have not truly decided yet. All is certain is that we will be far safer on this move. Perhaps the woods might offer some secluded security, or perhaps the city of Baldur's Gate will offer cover amidst these teeming throngs of people. We do not know where we shall end up. I have a few friends here and there. I will think on this. Okay, I'm ready. Listen carefully. If we ever become separated, it is imperative that you make your way to the Friendly Arm Inn. There you will meet Khalid and Jahira. They have long been my friends, and you can trust them. Let's go down. The night can only get worse, so we must find shelter soon. Don't worry. I'll explain everything as soon as there is time. Wait, there is something wrong. We are in an ambush. Prepare yourself. You're perceptive for an old man. You know why I'm here. Hand over your ward and no one will be hurt. If you resist, it shall be a waste of your life. You're a fool if you believe I would trust your benevolence. Step aside and you and your lackeys will be unhurt. I am sorry that you feel that way, old man. Get out of here! cruel this morning. You awake with the realization that you have not been living some horrible dream. Ambushed, you saw Gorion cut down before your eyes, and even his powerful magic could not stop the onslaught. It was his wish that you flee, but that does not remove the feeling of helplessness that now overwhelms you. Hand over your ward, the armored fiend had said. He was after you and you alone, but why? If only Gorion had given some clue. But now you are alone and lost. Candlekeep is near, but you will find no quarter there. The readers pay for their serenity with rather draconian entry rules, and without Gorion's influence, their doors will remain closed. You will not last long on your own with your meager equipment. Perhaps you can get some help from the friends Gorion mentioned, the ones at the Friendly Arm. And here is Zimoen again. Sorry I fooled ya, but I never get out of Calkip and those monks are such a bore. Never any decent coin in their pockets neither. Hey, I saw Gorion and I'm so sorry. I can't I figure something bad that might happen to you out here? Hmm. Okay, no, no. I, I like Zimoen. And uh, don't want to treat her badly. You could have known. Gorion did not did not even tell me. I accidentally read a letter on his desk the other day. 
can't remember exactly what he said, but he might still have, might be on his, his body. Anyway, I'm not gonna let you wander around the hero all alone. Never let a friend down, no sir. Stick with you until you say otherwise, I will. And our first real party member is with us. You're a queer fellow. Imoen. Uh, she's a thief, which um, she would be called a rogue now after um, third edition. Um, she has excellent dexterity, as high as constitution as reasonable for a known fighter, and very high intelligence. So it doesn't seem like, but she's she's smart. Okay, she has also a lot of charisma. So I'm going to let her do the talking. Um, yeah. If you probably already know, she'll become a mage in the future. She has a uh, short sword and short bow proficiencies. And she's currently equipped with that. She also has a wand of magic, mi magic missiles, which is very good. And some very good healing potions that I'm going to actually... Um, what do you... Go how did you split them? Uh, double click, yeah. Probably two each should be enough. Okay. And since I'm here, I'm going to equip also these projectiles. Okay, so we have ranged options. That's good. Alright, but that's going to be all for now. And uh, so, just the two of us. Fun. Alright, so thanks for watching. I appreciate if you survived up at this point. Hope you liked this video. Hope you were, uh, you, you were enjoying the series. Um, if you'd like to be updated on this, uh, on this Let's Play, um, there are a few options. You can uh, obviously sign up for my channel or check my discord i'll leave the description uh, i'll leave the link in the description box and uh, yeah that's uh, that's all for now again thanks for watching i'll see you again soon till then take care and goodbye